Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone that's new here, my name is Becca. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we have part four of the Career Legacy Astronaut Career Series. We are starting um, looking at our new little friend here. Right, so we were out for a run. I played a bit off camera. We were out for a run and then I came across this little cutie pie. I'm trying to get his eyes. He's got like green, ow. Sorry, I hit my hand. He's got green eyes and he is so cute. Um, so we're just building up a little friendship with him because I would like to adopt adopt this cat. This is the one. Its name's currently Fidget, but I want to call it Moon Pie. Look at this little cat. He's so cute. He's so cute. We gotta have him. So I'm just trying to like get it so we can adopt. We can friend. Yes, adopt. Yes. Adopt the kitty. Oh, I gave her a new hair and some new outfits, by the way. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Rumi. Completely forgot about you, hun. I was just too focused on the cat. Oh my god, little cat. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, so cute. Um, Moon pie. Oh. oh my goodness. Look at you, little kitty cat. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. We've got a little kitty, Moon Pie. Right, we gotta get you some kitty stuff. Um, so Moon Pie is free spirit. Um, mm, destructive, or I think it's mischievous. Mischievous and spoiled. Oh my goodness, I did, I did the house. <laughs> okay, so. This is where we live now. Um, it's excuse the fact that it's a little bit yeah rusty, you know, with the build. But what can you do? I'm not a builder. So anyway, through here we now have our kind of like dining area and kitchen area. Look at this shower. How cute is this? Like I thought, yes, it looks like it's raining because of you know the water. Love it. So we've got that. We've got a little bedroom now. Um, I'm obsessed with all of this artwork. It's beautiful. We've got a big moon and then the little um, light show that we got from our job. And then through the our bedroom is the door. So this is the door here to the greenhouse. Um, we've just got some little bits here. The project we made when we were a teenager. This cute little chair. Um, then we've got our alien plants in here as well. And then... If we go down the stairs, we've then got our little basement area that has our goodies. Um, yeah, so everything that we've got so far. So yeah, I, I think it's very sweet. Um, we are going to need to add in some more bits for Moon Pie now though. So I think I might put a little cat thing here. Let's just go and deal with this now. So I've just got some bits for Moon Pie. So I've literally got a little little uh what would we call that <laughs> i don't know a little climby climby apparatus um got him a little scratch pole and then a litter box and then obviously a bowl so we can feed our bubby um moon pie come over here come home my child oh my gosh yes who needs to actually have a child when you can just be a cat mom is that you Moon Pie, you're so fast. Look at you bounding over. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I was going to go to 6am, but this is this is the important thing right now. Hello, Moon Pie. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Okay, let's travel through the wormhole. Oh, also, I went to so I went to work one day for Rumi, and she did get that promotion. So now we're on level seven. So we need to get fitness level seven in order to, you know, potentially get the next promotion. Yeah, mischievous Moon Pie, you are cheeky monkey. Is love who? Oh, a oh, Moon Pie, you are magical. We should have called you Magical Pie. Look at you, you're just floating on nothing. How are you doing that? Oh, impressive. Okay, so we've got an impressive cat here, guys. Moon Pie Gomez, darling. Beam down. Okay, so we need to ideally get some money because I spent it all on the house. Dig, dig. 
collect this. Collect this. Um, I want the other plants to be in season. It's really annoying. Like, I want some of these. But they're not ready. Same with these things here. Oh my gosh, it's almost Rumi's birthday. What? I'm not ready for her to be an adult. We need to have children. Like, that's kind of a priority now, I think. Because otherwise it's going to be a case of having to whiz through their lifespans again. And I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm actually going to get her to go home now. We've collected a few things. Um, there's no new people here. No new aliens. So we're just going to head on home. We'll go and get some food. And then... Um, I think as well, maybe work on her fitness skill. Oh, guys, as well, today I I was doing my annual tradition of, uh, you know, going back to Sims 3 because, uh, you know, when you just miss it and you're like, oh, let's, let's relive the memories. It's like paying a tribute to, you know, the addiction of my childhood. Um, I kid you not, I spent hours, hours today downloading CC then trying to get the game to work and i managed to actually get it working but it crashed um like straight away so i didn't even get to play like i tried three times and i was like right nope nope fine so um i couldn't play how sad is that i just wanted to play sims 3 for a little bit you know and i couldn't oh my um i think we've already got one of those oh we got more geodes perfect Polish, I have the stuff, I know that we've got that one. And I don't know if we've got this one actually. Let's see. I don't think we do. No, we don't. Right, can I just pop that there? Can we pop that in there? Cute. Um, I don't want to keep any of this. I think we've already got dead pink whale. I have no idea what that, that's supposed to be, but yeah. Um, where's Moon Pie? Oh, oh. Does it not always show it then? Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Is that a Heb? Oh, Hebel, okay. Okay, I'm going to send Rumi jogging just to work on her fitness a little bit. Oh, look at you, Indu. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, did you break all my stuff again? And there's little Moon Pie just in here drinking from the puddle. My goodness. Um, okay. I'm obsessed with this. Like, it is gorgeous. And this as well, like... It just looks beautiful. Oh, I forgot to say, um... Presley got someone else pregnant as well. <laughs> yeah, he... he he got someone else pregnant. Oh, and I've started to um, get Han here. Oh my gosh. To um, dislike Summer. So I started, I got her to like do some mean interactions. One male baby, Jared Watson. Oh, it's Mother's Day today. I mean, we are a mother now. Let's use the toilet, take a speedy shower. Let's serve some breakfast. Let's have some fruit salad. Um, and then we are going to focus on our fitness and then playing some chess as well. Oh, we should probably see. I'm going to sell the rest of this. So is it her birthday tomorrow? Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, we need to get this up to level 7. And then we would have done the promotional, um, the promotional tasks for work. Man has his shop back too. He must be so happy. Boom. Okay, we've got level seven finally. That took some time. Even in space, nature calls roomy docks with a star side rest station. It's pretty nasty in there, but then Rumi looks closely at the top of the toilet and discovers that it's inhabited by a teeny tiny alien civilization. Take a closer look. My goodness, what? She can't go to the toilet. She'll call a, cause a natural disaster. Rumi the Supreme One. When the aliens see Rumi looming over them, they immediately fall to their knees and start chanting. They obviously think she's some sort of supreme being come to rule them. Should she stick around a while or just be on her way? Stay and rule? Yes. My goodness. <laughs> this is funny. The choice. The aliens are pushing some pebbles around and desperately trying to start a farm on a large pile of mold. Rumi can only think of two kinds of 
deities, the loving, benevolent kind and the angry, jealous kind. Be loving and benevolent. Gift of water. Rumi studies aliens closely. They appear to want more water to grow their crops. The loving, benevolent, benevolent thing to do would be to give it to them, right? Sprinkle some water, build irrigation system. Infrastructure for the future. The aliens will never again want for water. Rumi is so benevolent. The aliens sing her praises. Now they are praying to her for far more land and their fields and livestock. Lead them to land. Let them figure it out. Lead them to land. Yes. The promised land. Praise to Rumi. She drags a table near the toilet so the alien colony can expand. Now that the aliens have all the land they need to build and grow, they seem to be doing okay. Rumi leaves on a high note. That was so exciting. Oh my goodness. I want to I wanna check in on my little colony though. Do you know what? I am so annoyed that I didn't get to play Sims 3. <laughs> like so annoyed. It was just for the... um. What is it even called? The... What's that word? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I've left my uh, pots here. <laughs> There's just pots in my room. Oh, what? Oh, this is going to bug me. What's that word? Nostalgic. There we go. Where's my cat? Oh, exploring? Right, Han, do you want to come and play some chess? Well, sure. You know, fully rested. Okie dokie, we are back from work. Let's quickly pay the bills. So we got 1,190 simoleons today. It's pretty good. Um, So I think we don't have work tomorrow now. Yeah, so we work like every other day. Right, let's go cook a cake. And then I'm going to start a social gathering. Social gathering? Social event. <laughs> and get her family round. And then her alien friends as well. What I'm going to do, though, is lock this door for everyone but household members. Oh. Allow access to household. It's already locked. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You made him cry, Danny. Can we pick up Emmett, please? Because of he's going to take years to get over here. Okay. You can't really see him, so I'll wait till we get inside. Don't you put him down. The oh, my goodness. What am I supposed to do? Right. Go here. And then this is Jaden. Right, Hun, can you come and make a wish? Happy birthday, Han. Oh my goodness! Moon Pie! Moon Pie, you're gonna burn your bottom! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right, happy birthday, Han. How did we become famous from just aging up? You have an evil mother, but you are cute. Oh, I'm so excited for her to be a mum. I feel like she's going to be such a good mum. Presley, why have you got your Christmas outfit on? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get her chatting to her older siblings. I keep forgetting that these are actually her siblings. Oh, stop. Oh my goodness, my heart. It is bedtime. It is late. Harper Smith had one female baby, Roxanna. So... Our bro has a son and a daughter now. Okay, I'm going to get Hunt exploring space. I've decided I'm not going to go back to 6am until we are in summer season. Because then maybe there's a chance that different plants have, um, are like ready. I just purchased the observatory. So we have um, another way of getting our logic skill up. So we don't always just have to play the chess. Oh my goodness, Presley's having another child with Rashida. Oh! <gasps> Danny Gomez died. Our dad died. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Han. I mean, she's sad about it. Yes, we got promoted. Okay, so we've got to choose between an interstellar smuggler and a space ranger. So the sim who wrangles the most of the, of the stars takes advantage of the ungoverned frontier. Take any job, even if it doesn't touch the ground. Rewards include retro rocket ship. Or a space ranger. Space is wild and unruly. A bit too unruly. Taking a post in the planet patrol ensures that space remains safe for future generations. Ooh, planet patrol. I feel like she wouldn't be a smuggler. I feel like she'd more likely be a space ranger. Let's do this. Woo! Oh my goodness, I've just noticed our trees! Oh, they're so pretty. Sailor got married. Oh my goodness, Sailor Bailey, darling, has married Lucas Munch. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't she so sweet? 
You don't look like your mum. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> oh, look at them. Ah, oh, the kitty. Oh, do you remember when we did this with um, Presley? Oh my goodness, she's round again. Oh, I can't. This is so sweet. I feel like after like she spent time with her younger siblings, that it's made her like want to obviously start a family of her own because she doesn't really have too long at all. So I think that she might obviously because she's like very into space and 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 sciencey stuff. I feel like she would opt to have a baby through science, and then we can just see what happens in terms of if she then like has another baby through science or if she adopts but like i'm conscious of the fact that she's she's got 28 days so we can have a science baby as a single parent let's do it we need a baby oh my goodness hun i haven't even thought of names Rumi Gomez, darling, will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Okay. Oh my gosh, we're having a baby. Oh my goodness, we're having a baby. Rumi, what are you going to call your child? We had a little girl. Estrella Gomez, darling. Oh, we had a baby girl. Oh, that's so exciting. Look at little Estrella. Oh my gosh, guys, we're being abducted. We are being abducted again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she afraid of the dark again. Zapped and jolted. Whatever those aliens did really messes with their head. Oh my gosh. Right, um, your baby's fine, so just go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe she got abducted again. That's so funny. Okay, Hunt has been up dealing with Estrella and then also... Oh my goodness, look at you, two female babies and a male. Oh, a little girl, Ashley. Oh, happy birthday, Estrella. Got a little black hair. I'm assuming she's going to look very similar to Rumi. <laughs> and she's calm. Oh, look at her. It's our little girl. Okay, guys, here is Estrella. Look how cute this little bubby is. Oh, my goodness. Look, I've given her this little fox with a star on. Oh, so cute, so cute. And I've gone ahead and given her a room as well, so I'll show you that when we're in game. This is her room. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute in the light. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we'll just leave her there. We're going to go and sleep because we are exhausted. So we'll be up in a, in a little bit and we'll put her to sleep. Um, also, I'm putting up the little plant, the little plant things, the bird things that, um, what's that cat called? Moon pie. Oh my goodness. Um, gets us. Whoa. Um, I think I've got a crow. Is this a crow? I've got a crow and a blue jay. So I don't have a pigeon yeah yeah beautiful and then should we put her little oh my gosh i nearly called it a paw print it's not a paw print it's not a paw print it's a child right let's sell all of these he's going through like this is the second child he's had with harper where has he gone oh my gosh he's had two kids with i can't remember the name was it rashida and then he's had, oh yeah, he's had, this is the second child he's having with Harper. Oh my gosh, Presley, you are two-timing. He's got two women on the go, guys. Not just one child with each, he's now had two children with both of them. So I'm going to let her have a few days as an infant. I mean, it's only four days anyway, isn't it? And then we'll age her up to a toddler and then she can have a few days as a toddler. Little teddy bear. Oh guys, look at her little face. Okay, Estrella's up, which means that we are now up. We're going to just go and put her down in the... What is it called? The little playmat thing. And then we'll look after our own needs. Because she's actually pretty good in terms of, like, food and stuff. She's all she's all good. Okay, I've just made some quick changes to the house. Um, let me set... Oh, it's already on cooler. Um, I changed this. Yeah, I think I like that better. I got a treadmill as well. I got something else and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I got a piano. <laughs> oh, when it's summer break, so she hasn't actually got work today. I got a piano because she 
during, for a midlife crisis, it said that she thought that she was going to be um, good at the piano. So, we got Sarah a piano. Oh my gosh, Presley's having another baby with Rashida. This is going to be his fifth child. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fawn Bailey's having another baby. Holy moly. It would have been cool for her to have a baby with an alien, but purely because of the fact that we don't have too much time, I feel like we should adopt... No, Moon Pie! No! Moon Pie's running away! But Moon Pie, we love you! Is it because I haven't been giving you much attention since we had a baby? Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, Moon Pie. Let's see. Um, adopt a child. Okay. He does look so cute. I I don't really want to get an infant or a baby. Rachel's looking super sweet. Natalia looks cute too. Mm. I don't know what Harley's got. <laughs> it's like he's got some clown makeup on. Blaze. Oh, I don't know. Rachel looks so cute, but then, do we want a child or a toddler? It's going to be the same ones, so I'm going to just think on it, because I don't know. Um, Let's go and do some workout. Okay, I'm going to age up Estrella in the morning. I think we don't have work, like, all week, because summer. Oh, <gasps> Moon Pie. Moon Pie, come here. Come here, Moon Pie. Okay, I want to at least do one tummy time session with Estrella before we age her up um, later on today. Oh my gosh, I've just got like dirty di diapers everywhere. Is Moon Pie clean after we brushed it? Yeah. I think what I might do before we age her up then is go and adopt a child so that we've got our last child that we need for this gen. Um, I haven't quite decided who we're going to get. But let's have another look and kind of go from there. Let's go with Natalia. Oh, she looks so cute. Can we kiss her cheek? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Natalia. What's her traits like? So she's got... Oh. Oh, she's erratic. Okay. Okay, she's erratic. <laughs> Um, let's express our love. Rumi has got all the new parent bliss without the fuss of pregnancy. Oh, how sweet. Natalia really appreciated receiving such kind attention from Rumi just now. That affection made her feel extra special. Oh, because she might not have had much affection and she really loves it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think... I think Natalia said that Rumi was her favourite. Oh, that's so cute. Happy birthday, Estrella. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. All right, I wonder what her toddler trait is going to be. Clingy. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, so I have played a little bit off camera and uh, g given the girls makeovers, as well as upgraded their bedroom. Look at how cute this bed is. I have been waiting to be able to use this and Natalia has the honors of being the first that gets to try it out. Um, we were abducted again, guys. Stop trying to go to work. Yeah, we were abducted again. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's three times we've been abducted now. Three times. Um, Little Miss needs a bath because she is smelly. So yeah, this is Estrella. You can't really see her at the moment. Um, Natalia, I gave her this short hairstyle. I think she looks super... Oh, you can't see anything. I think she looks super cute. Um, Are you trying to go to work again? I honestly... You, Little Miss. Right, can we please come and give Estrella a bubble bath? Bubble bath. Um, Han's just doing her homework. She has got school today. And then... Where is the cat? Moon pie? Oh, there you are! 
I was confused. I was confused. Okay, so, oh, look at her. She's so dirty. Is that dirt on your nose? Oh, it is. Look at her. That's a smelly baby right there. That's a smelly baby. Um, I am fairly certain that my notifications told me that Sailor was pregnant. Yeah. Oh, and, um, oh, it's a boy. So Harper, yeah, so Presley's actually picked, and he's picked Harper, so they're now married, and they've just had a little boy, Leslie. So Presley has Leslie. <laughs> so cute. I was worried as well because, obviously, Sailor moved out. Are we not giving her a bath? Oh, it's because she's going to the toilet. Did you eat your food? Yeah. Right, well, hon, why don't you come and have your food now, and then we'll give you a bath. Um, hon, can you come and water all? And sell it all. Um, yeah, so because Sailor moved out because she got married, then I, like, had a panic, like, oh, what if, um... What is that noise? Oh, it's this! I was like, what is that noise? I, I had a panic because I was like, what if, um... Oh my gosh, Presley moved out when he got married, and then that would mean that the, our siblings would be in the house, their children, I've given them both makeovers as well, it would mean that they would go for adoption because they wouldn't have anyone looking after them, um, but it's all, it's all good because Presley's actually moved his wife and his two kids in, um, yeah, so he has four kids I believe. Her hair looks brown, but it's just because of it's covered in filth and grime. She has got black hair like her mum. <laughs> I don't know if um, that's quite bad, isn't it? That her hair's changed colour because she's that dirty. Yeah, so with um, Jaden and Emmett, the siblings, I honestly thought, oh gosh, am I going to have to move them in with us? Because I was like, I can't have them go into adoption. So like, they'd have to come and live with us. But it's all good. Presley's got it covered. He, he'll, you know, look after them when summer eventually dies i would like to you know start thinking about her soulmate aspiration i feel like she's put a lot of effort into her career and you know now that she she's like started a family by herself like she's very independent she really enjoys being single but like she's always had that desire to find someone and fall you know hopelessly in love so i do want that to happen for her just we just haven't come across anyone have we like we've we've not come across anyone at all Oh, actually, let's go and visit um, Presley at our old house because I want to show you his wife and also, oh, what's her name? Roxana. I gave her a little tweak. Well, I just gave her some skin details on her hair. Um, the mother, what's her name? Was it Harper? Um, not going to lie, she was actually terrifying. So I tweaked her too. So I don't actually know how... It, how it's going to go for when their kids age up because trust me woman was terrifying uh, um so the kids might need a future tweak as well um but currently currently or because obviously leslie's just a baby but roxana she's looking cute oh also i've given the girls um matching matching hot weather it's so sweet Right, so this is Roxana. Isn't she looking so beautiful? Isn't she so cute? So I want to go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. Um, as she is our niece. And then I'll make sure that Estrella also says hello. Maybe they can be like besties, her and Roxana. Oh, we're not going to get a good angle. Oh, we did. Oh, oh, stop it. That's so cute. So this is Harper. I have, like I said, tweaked her. She was very scary. Why is everyone always dazed in this house? Right, so let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. Because she is now our sister-in-law. I'm glad that Presley's the one that will take over the house. And it's not going to be... Uh, I never removed the Christmas stuff. And it's never going to be, like, Summer's house. Okay, so in here then here we have our brother Emmett. I think he's looking super cute. Like this is him. He's missing a tooth which is precious. And then we have a little Jaden who I love. I love Jaden. This is her. So again super cute. Let's actually go and say hi. She hasn't been around recently. Um, oh my goodness, this is the third time that we've got, you know, money from inheritance. Who are all these relatives? 
Maybe they're like past, like, f- well, or current fans of um, Drew. Oh, is Presley just chatting to Estrella as he's teaching her to dance? Presley, you are the cutest, aren't you? Like, you are so sweet. Bad boy turned good, I'd say. Tell outrageous stories. So, did you know there once was a, um, a drop dead gorgeous global superstar, and there was this other woman who wanted what she had, so she plotted and ended that woman's life. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, spoiler, it's a true story. Your mother killed my mother. And we're just going to be mean to you at summer. Mean arguments. Yell at. Oh, mid-yell just then goes and hugs. Look at her, the way she walks, like she owns the place. You've met Harper too? Perfect. Do you want to come and meet Roxana? Oh, look at this. Isn't this sweet? So yeah, this is Natalia here. I think she's super cute. Look at our growing family. Oh my gosh. Presley's teaching Estrella to talk. Presley, you are too precious. This is what I mean. Look at our girls. How sweet that they're wearing matching outfits. Oh, it's too much. It's too precious. Oh, I want to buy a new fridge as well. So let's go ahead and serve some dinner. Um, What should we all have? Let's have some pasta. Cute. Then we can get them chatting a little bit so they become friends. Look at this little cutie. Sitting on a chair covered in rat scratches. Not rat scratches, cat scratches. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, then we need to put little miss to bed because she's really tired. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realise her midlife crisis is over. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I was so done with that. Not that we really did anything for it anyway. But it's over now. Right, let's go and sell everything. Oh, Natalia has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Nat Natalia can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. <gasps> We've completed the geode collection. No way. Okay, Han just wiggled her tooth and then she like drooled everywhere. Okay, look, let me... Oh my gosh. Um, wiggle tooth. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, just pull it out, Han. Good job. Can we like share that we pulled out our tooth? Wait, what? What just happened to our child? What's happened to our child? That's not our child. I'm honestly shocked. What, who is this? <laughs> oh, I am honestly speechless. Okay, she's back. Who's this? Ernest Williams. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly shocked. So you had to fix the tooth. Oh my goodness, look at all these kitties. How's it going? There's a kitty club out there. Moon Pie, are those your ladies? <laughs> Moon Pie, your ladies are waiting for you. Okay, we've done everything that we need to do for work. We do have work tomorrow. I think we should go on a blind date. Okay, I'm nervous. I have no idea who this person's going to be. Is this who we've been set up on a date with? She's in our group, so it must be her. Madeline Hasegawa. I covered the screen so I wouldn't see in case it popped up, you know, when it's like traveling with friends. Not sure what you're meeting up. Not sure where you're meeting up with your date exactly. Click their picture in this notification. Oh, right. No, I've got my date. It's all good. I'm <laughs> okay. Let's have a little chat. Let's discuss logic puzzles. Puzzles. <laughs> puzzles. <laughs> discuss fitness techniques. Let's just see how they vibe. Let's just get to know her a little bit. So let's... I love how we're just standing outside. I just want to get to know her. Ask about her day. Maybe we should come and sit somewhere. I just picked this bowling place because I wanted to pick somewhere fast because I didn't want to look. Let's have a deep conversation. We should find out... We need to find out her traits and then also if she has kids. Where are you going? Does she like our story? Ask if she has children. I don't have any children. Is she going? <gasps> she just left? But we were getting on really well. This girl's also adorable. Oh my gosh, it's like the scene in the notebook with the line of <gasps> truck. Guys, guys, you gotta you gotta get out. Oh my gosh, we we just got run over. Okay, guys. Like, I'd give her a makeover. I don't know, like, I feel like I would see her more with a girl than a guy. Hello? <laughs> Are you okay? 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here. I did not expect to um, become a mother to two children in this episode. <laughs> but there you go. So we have Natalia, who we adopted. And then we had Estrella through, um, well, science. She's a science baby. So it means we have completed the, well, she needed to have two kids. She's had two kids. So that bit like, of her gen is done. Um, in terms of her career, she's on level eight. So we've got two more to go skill wise oh my gosh she's nearly max logic and then we're 60 percent of the way come through level eight fitness so these both need to be 10 um i think she needed to collect like three aliens or something i think it would be nice for for rumi to you know meet someone and i am definitely intrigued by mana i want to find out more about her so yeah let me know what you think of her and what you're thinking of our girls and then in the next episode, we'll just progress more with their, well, their lives. Um, yeah, and I hope you like the house. Oh, and Moon Pie, of course. Oh my gosh, so much has happened. I've been playing literally for hours and hours. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.